today. Mmm, 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 yo, you didn't smell good. Sister put me in the jump on this one. Okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, today is a little bit of a a me kind of video, a motivate and inspire kind of video. I first and foremost, it is so cold. It is so cold. I don't even know why winter didn't just knock, you know, knock in. You know, let us know that you're here. Let us know to prepare. Let us know to do some because wow, wow. Welcome back to the channel. This video is a very, very important video for me because I, the other day I was sitting and I was thinking that, you know, where the world is right now and with everything that's going on right now, it is very, very difficult to find a space of happiness. It is very, very difficult to find just brief moments where you can just find some sort of contentment or have a more positive perspective on your outlook on life and that is understandable considering the times that we are in right now but i also felt like it would be really really important to just sort of discuss with one another um finding you know making the choice making the 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 cognizant choice to find some sort of happiness in your life and no matter how little it may be no matter how insignificant it may seem to someone else i feel like if we can find spaces where we can find some sort of joy or just even a fleeting moment of happiness it would be so so great at uplifting the spirits um uplifting your mood for the day uplifting um just the way you think about um, anything for that day. Just, and I feel like you can do that even with the smallest things. And I wanted to share with you guys the um, things that make me happy. The things that just, no matter how small the task may be, just put such happiness into my life and into that moment that moment that I'm in and I feel like um, this video might help you uh, just be more aware of the things that bring you that light the things that bring you that joy the things that bring you that happiness and I'm gonna share what I find my happiness in what my happy is and I hope you can do the same okay so they're on my phone so don't mind me looking down at my phone because i need to remember some of these things okay some of them i really know but yeah um first and foremost we're not even gonna go for a cup of tea okay a cup of tea to me might be a gin and tonic to someone else uh might be a cup of coffee to someone else an iced coffee to someone else a beverage no matter how small this thing may seem I can't tell you the warmth that a cup of tea brings to me. In moments where I am sad, which I've had a lot of those uh, since lockdown and just with everything that's been going on personally for me in my life, gullishing, I've been saying, um, a cup of tea is sort of a hug. It's, 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 it's warmth and comfort. Um, just to know that, you know what, let me just have myself a cup of tea. I know that if I have a cup of tea, I'm going to be fine. I'm going to be okay. And something about the act of making myself a cup of tea, that silence, that moment of just, I'm not speaking to anyone at that time, but I'm making, a, it's, it's sort of the act that I cherish, you know, the boiling of the kettle and the pulling out one of my favorite mugs and um, just drinking a cup of tea it's crazy but it does so for me one of my um find my happy things definitely making myself a cup of tea and the second thing for me you see we're not going far we're not going far all the things that make me happy most of them are around me and these are things that i can see every day so the second thing for me is definitely this baby right here um my plants speaking to my plants, watering my plants, the whole act 
of taking them outside so that they can get some sun so that they can so that I can spritz them down uh, feed them some water uh, speak to them I actually actually speak to my plants I've named my plants but more than anything I also speak to them and I speak to them and it's a moment of just I suppose even living alone speaking to someone or something uh, brings a sense of comfort brings a sense of I'm not going crazy um, bring brings a sense of just peace for me the whole act of watering my plants and looking after my plants and um, thinking about more plants to black to buy and <clears throat> and um, thinking about m more plants to buy for me just that brings so much calmness but at the same time brings so much happiness brings so much contentment i don't know what it is about it that just makes me feel really really um calm serene at peace relaxed um and that's my form of um being happy and i really really love we love her we love her <laughs> number three number three is something that might not bring happy for um, a lot of people, but might bring happy for some others. Um, so one of the things that I love to do is clean. I love to clean my house. I love to clean my spaces. I love to make sure that the spaces that I'm in are spotless and um, clean. I feel like it's a big reflection of me, of who I am. The space that I'm in shows the kind of person that I am. It reflects the kind of person that I am. Um, a clean and tidy space for me makes a clean and tidy mind. I love to, I do not like clutter. I do not like um, spaces that are just filled with this and that and this and that and the other. I like to move things around. I like change a lot of the time. That's why I'm constantly updating, you know, what I can, what's not too pricey to update or things like that. But my space is very, very important to me because um, keeping it clean means keeping my mind clean. If I am in a space where there's dirt and my kitchen is dirty and I'm just something about it makes me not okay and what i've discovered um when having a conversation with one of my friends the other day is that i actually use cleaning and tidying up my space also as a coping mechanism so when my mind is cluttered when my mind when there's just so much drifting and going on and on and on in my mind cleaning helps calm that down cleaning helps bring some sort of sense of like a system um compartmentalizes everything i know that i need to do this section then do this section then do this this section which in turn in a really strange way helps me compartmentalize my thoughts as well so i don't have everything just here and um just all over the place for me cleaning is a happy space for me cleaning is a happy place um and it provides that sense of um calm and happy and I really, really like that. Another two more things to go. One thing that I really, really love and oh my gosh, I feel so at peace and at home in is my recording space upstairs. So I've flipped that space into be where I uh, make my videos for YouTube. But at the same time, it's where I wear my makeup. At the same time, it's where I sit and I read as well. I've got like a reading corner where I sit and I read. It's where I do my work work. So I've got an office desk, which I, which you guys have seen all of this. But being in that space, just walking into that space makes me really happy. As much as right now, it's a little bit tough to walk into that space because it's really cold up there. It's so cold. But um, being up there, bring some sense of um, happiness because when I walk in there, my mind is bustling with ideas. I feel like I need to be more productive. For me, being productive is also a state of happy. I don't like to idle. I don't like to not be doing anything. Um, lockdown was really hard for me because I spent a lot of 
time idling i spent a lot of time not too sure like okay what do i do today my house is clean what do i do today i've I, I cooked yesterday i can't really cook again today it's just me uh what do i do to have watered my plants after so when i walk in there i come up with ideas for my videos and i think about more ideas for the business plans that i wanted to put into place this year before corona hit and whatever but i i find ways to um just smarten that up a little bit uh, but to be more productive and it's a happy space when i'm up there i've got plants in there it's a green space it's a clean space it's a white space but it mixes woods as well which i really really like i like mixing different textures in in um a space um i've got like you know woven baskets in there i've got my bags in there i've got my shoes in there i've got things that really make me happy so when i walk into that space i already flip my mood already flips into this beautiful happy yes i feel you i feel you room you feel me thank you and then lastly for me is definitely my family speaking to my family and my friends uh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> nice phone. Huh? Do you like nice it? Phone. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. I'm taking a video of you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For me, um, the themes of my life are God, family, and love, and in that order. I don't, I don't, it's, the nice thing for me is all of them integrate together, God, family, and love. Family integrates God and love, and uh, love integrates family, love for family, love for friends, love for um uh, a significant other all of that kind of thing love for my job love for everything so for me it's that kind of theme centers around my life the god the family and the love and right now what's been helping with my family is that i speak to them quite a lot on facetime my family doesn't live too far away from me so it's also nice to go and visit them um because i i, I really don't mind i don't visit them all the time obviously for obvious reasons but i can't go i'd have to see them like once in a week that's just i'm admitting to that i have to see them once in a week and if I'm not seeing them, I love to talk to them on FaceTime or WhatsApp uh, video or FaceTime video or whatever. But I really love to communicate with them because they bring me some sense of um, love, of comfort, of support, of stability, of peace of mind. Um, they, they, they calm me. They calm me. If, if my waters are a little bit rough and I am all over the place and nothing else helps, Definitely having a call and speaking to my sisters or speaking to my brothers on WhatsApp or speaking to uh, my dad. I, I, I also take like walks with my dad. Uh, all of that stuff just brings me my happy. And yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to share. I feel like um, in this time, find your happy. I don't know what your happy may be. Your happy may be wildly different to mine and that's okay you know but find your happy i feel like we all need something to smile about or something to be happy about or something that brings us joy calmness peace serenity something in the crazy world we are living in right now so i challenge you if you already know what finding what what finding if you already know what your happy is please let me know down below i'll, I'll be really keen to know and if you don't, now's a good time to figure it out. I'll see you in the next video. Find you happy. Bye.